Hey, you guys, so I'm back at again another collective message of the day. And my collective message of the day is about we're not waiting on God. God is waiting on us. And a lot of the times, the, one of the reasons that God is waiting on us is because we actually don't know what we want. We just believe that God is just supposed to write our path for us. And God is just supposed to tell us anything and everything. And this is this is the illusion that's in the collective. That God, is, we're just supposed to go to God. We're just supposed to pray to God. And God is just going to show us our way. God is just going to show us our path. God is just going to show us our purpose. Then we wouldn't have free will. We have free will in order to know, in order to write the ways of how we see our our life, how we want our life to go. So that's why God is asking you, what do you want to do? How do you want to live? A lot of us don't actually use our power because we never know how powerful we are, but we're powerful enough to create our own reality. And that's what God, what was that? <laughs> and that's what God is telling us at this time. It's like, he's trying to get you to understand that I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you to tell me what life do you want to live? How do you see your life? I gave you free will for a reason because I took you down here so you can make changes to your life and change, make changes to your lineage or make changes to yourself. Because it doesn't even have to be as big as like breaking a generational curse. And it doesn't have to be as big as like being a generational healer and stuff like that. It's just as big as like I'm going to walk my own path and I'm going to be free for me. You know what I'm saying? So... It's not the fact that God don't want to do nothing for you. It's the fact that you don't want to do nothing for yourself and you don't want to imagine. You don't know how to dream. You don't know how to be back to the inner child. And you don't know how to actually live up the life that you want. But you want to be free. But freedom comes with actually choosing your own path and knowing your own path. Unless you want to be a slave to spirit all the time. And God will never actually come down to you. And God will never actually talk to you because you believe you're less than than him. And you believe that he's the one that's supposed to write your path. And he's the one that's supposed to tell you what to do. And it's like, no, a lot of the times you tell him what you want. You tell him what you need him to do. You tell him how he needs to move within your life so you can create what you want at this time. And, you know, I'm still working it out myself. I'm still trying to master that part of myself as well. So as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. So it, it, it's definitely this act of we have to be dreamers again. Two, 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 as I say this, we have to be dreamers again. We have to be visualizers again. We have to know. We have to feel like what is this new path entail? What does this new path bring? What is this new path really going to do for us? And I'm saying this in a way of what do you want it to do for you? How do you see your life? How do you want to fulfill your dreams? How do you want to fulfill your passion? What do you feel like your purpose is for you? A lot of the times, God is not writing your destiny. You're writing your own. So what will you do with your own destiny? And that's what scares people because they have that much control. But we're that powerful to control ourselves.